Hello, this is the Cobra MX4340V, which is a 17-inch rotary mower powered by a powerful 40-volt lithium-ion battery. This is the box that it arrives in, nice and sturdy. So let's open it up, take everything out, and I'll show you how to put it together so you can use your new mower on your lawn. Comes really well packed to protect it in transit and everything is in there. So we've got the, uh, the bag of fixings here, the all important manual to tell you how to put it together, to use it and to care for it afterwards. And then we've got inside next, we've got the, the battery and the charger there. And then underneath we've got the mower itself. So it's always worth getting somebody just to help you lift it out. It is packed in tightly for transit. So it just makes sure you get it out easily really is very simple to put together once you've taken all the packaging off and remember the instruction manual has got it clearly in there with clear pictures how to do it but it is simple to do all you need to put this together is a crosshead screwdriver that's the only tool you need but we don't need that to start with we're going to start on the handlebars and start with this piece here that simply hinges into position and there are three possible fixings there where we can clamp it into place and that is basically just to determine the angle of this handlebar so obviously if you're taller you have it more upright if you're a little bit shorter like me you can go lower these are spring loaded and they just clamp into place so that holds it nice and strongly in position then we need this little bag of fixings for the next part and you'll see inside there are two of these red handles in there and all we've got to do is just take those apart and it's simply a case of just unthreading the bolt from inside so very simple do that first because we're going to have to then put them through the handlebars and tighten them up so we've got one for the left and we've got one for the right and then literally it is a case of offering up this handlebar now be careful because it's quite easy to trap this cable it's got several wires running through it and if it traps it and damages a wire then the mower won't work so we just need to make sure no point do we trap the wire and that fits on the outside of the tube there it just naturally fits into position and what we do is align the holes and then we put the bolt from the inside outwards and it locks into place because on the end of the bolt there it's got a square and that fits into a little square socket there so it locks into place we then put on the flat washer and then so we just line the thread up with the threaded hole there inside and just twist that into position and it just goes on like that and we don't need it too tight because we can just check it and then tighten it down that needs to be tightened a little bit more we need some resistance on it when we close it. One more turn maybe. So it's just a case of just doing it a few times until you're happy. That's one too many. So back one and that locks into place. So that's got that. And I can adjust that just to finish it off when I've got this one on. So again, straight through with the bolt, lock it into the square hole, washer on there. And then it's just a case that's the hole that we could go, so it just goes into the hole there. And then we'll just start it off, just twist it onto the thread once you get it going. And it spins around really easily. So you get it to the point, and then you can tighten that on like that. So this one, this side, I've, is just a little bit loose. So what I'm gonna do is just slack it off, do one more rotation, and then tighten it again that's much better so I've got a nice firm handle grip there now so that is in position of course if you want to put this away for storing you just simply slacken these off loosen the screws and that will fold over to put it in a shed or a garage and the other thing we've got here is a little cable clip so make sure the cable is in position and pop the cable over it and then it just springs into position like that and it just makes sure that that cable isn't going to move around and and get trapped or snagged on anything. So that is basically it. Next thing we need to do is the grass bag. So this is where we need the screwdriver to put the handle on. So any cross head will do, but it's a little bit restrictive in there. So if you've got a short one, it just makes life easier, but you can get a full size one in. Uh, a little screw is provided with the bits and bobs there. So we've got the screw, which is a self tapper and the handle. And literally 
all we do, it can only go on one way. This goes into the slot there, and then that clips into place there. And then the screw is going to go in from underneath there. So we're just going to start the screw off by hand just to, to get it going like that. And then, say, if you've got a small screwdriver, just make it a little bit easier, but you can still get a full size one in there. And it's just tighten that through and that's screwing into the base of the handle. So just tighten that, get it nice and firm all the way in like that. Good twist. And that's that. So there we have it. The handle is now firmly in place. So what we've also got to do is then to clip on the netted bag. So because this has never been fitted before, just loosen it a little bit beforehand with your fingers and thumb like that, just almost to warm it up a little bit. And it does make it much easier than when you come to clip it on, especially if you're getting it out of a, a cold box. And you can see it just clips into place on there. And then the side ones just pop onto the inside. Again, just make sure they're loose and clip that over there. They're going really easily. And this one, exactly the same at this side. So that is it. We've now got the box ready to attach onto the mower. And literally all we do to attach it onto the mower is we lift this flap here at the back and we can see there are two slots there and there. And these two metal lugs that come out on the frame here simply just lock down into place. So it holds it nice and tightly and then the lid goes down and stops any glass coming out. And the final thing we need to do is to get the battery sorted so we can power up the mower. The battery and the charger come with the mower. So there, just take those out. Um, so this is the charger unit that you're going to need to charge it. And it also comes with care instructions there, which you need to make sure that you keep. And um, this can either be on a worktop or it can be wall mounted in your shed or garage if you want. And that obviously plugs into a 13 amp supply. So I've got my extension here. So I'm going to plug that into there like that. And then the battery is in here. So this is the, the power pack. Again, it comes with care instructions and everything you need to know about this battery. This is a powerful 40 volt, five amp battery. So lots of power there. So lots of mowing basically. Um, there is some factory charge in it when you get it, but it's always a good idea to fully charge it before you install it and mow it. It just prolongs the life of the battery. So don't be too tempted to get mowing straight away. Put it on charge. And it's simply a case of sliding it into the groove there and it just clips into place. So that is now firmly in place. And we know it's charging because we've got a red light there which says we've got the power, but then we've got a green flashing light. So that means the battery is now in the charging process. When it's fully charged, that flashing light goes a solid green and the red one will go out completely. So that tells us it's charged and we can install it. So we're going to leave that for now, let it charge. And once it's charged, we can put it into there and get mowing. When the battery is fully charged, we can fit it into the mower. So to release the battery, simply clip it off the charger like that. And we can also check the battery at any point. There's a little green button there. And if we just depress that, we can see the power in there. And this has got four illuminated green lights. So we're ready to go. And to fit it, it goes into the flap here and it just slides down into position. And again, to make sure it's engaged and in contact, it just clips into place. So that has now got the battery fitted. You also get this red key, which is just a safety device. You have to have this engaged before you can mow. And it's a great safety feature in that you can take this out of the mower and it means nobody can accidentally start the mower and cause an accident. So there's a little slot that it goes in and we need to turn it to the on position. And just a few tips on the battery. It is lithium ion, so you don't have to let it fully discharge before you can charge it. So if you're three quarters across your lawn and the battery is getting low, you can just take it out, simply top it up for a short while and pop it in and finish the job. When you're not using the mower, it's always a good idea to take the battery out and keep it somewhere safe and then charge it up ready for when you next need it. And over the winter, it's a good idea to take it out the mower, charge it up and keep it somewhere above five degrees C. Lithium ion do not like cold conditions. It really shortens the life of the battery. So above five degrees C is essential. So that's ready to go. Let's have a look at the handlebar and the controls and then we can start mowing. 
The controls on this mower are very simple. There's not a lot you have to do to operate it. Just so you can check the battery while you are mowing, there is another little button there, battery indicator, and again, pressing it, we can see we've got four illuminated lights, so full battery. Starting the mower is very simple. We have a stop-start lever there, basically the red lever. We have to have that engaged to be able to mow, and when we release it, it stops the motor. So, to be mowing, what we do is we push the red button in, we pull this back, that will start the mower. We can let go of that, and we can mow away. And when we want to stop, we just release it. So it really is as simple as that. So happy mowing with your Cobra. Remember to register your Cobra online at www.cobragarden.co.uk and always have your Cobra serviced regularly. Check the website for your nearest dealer.